let's take a look at using the playback feature along with the trading. This is extremely useful in practicing the mechanics of trading within the software as well as testing new strategies and looking for different patterns and reacting to those in a simulated environment. The first thing to do, as you can see, I'm connected to my data feed. The first thing I want to do is switch this to playback. You can do so under File, Playback. This will bring up the playback menu. And for more details on the playback menu, you can refer to the knowledge base. There's a video on this. But for sake of time, I have this zero days back, which means it's going to start today, the beginning of today's session and I have it set to be second by second playback that's what this means every second playback a second we can speed that up as we go but let's just start with this click start playback it asks do I want to go offline you basically have to go offline to run the playback so click OK and it will take a second and then begin to trade so now it's it's doing the playback second by second and let's um, let's just sell one market. Order filled. It gives me a confirmation that I'm filled. I'm short one, showing my position here. And let's put in a buy buy limit. Let's just put it in here below the market. And so now I'm working working a buy order. And we can speed this up for sake of time. You can just click in here and let's do uh, five seconds every second it'll immediately speed this up and if that's not fast enough we could do 10 seconds so this is 10 speed that's the way you'd read this and you could continue to trade we could sell another one market so now we're short two if it trades through me, it'll fill me. Right now it looks like I'm on the bid. Order filled. Okay, it took me out there and let's buy let's buy one more limit. Okay, I'm joined the bid. And you can see once I'm filled here, if I get filled, it'll remove my position, it'll take out the order. If I had my portfolio open, my simulated portfolio, we could take a look at that. Why don't we see that? This is reflecting everything. So let's just watch for a second, see if I get filled. Just like in real life, it seems like I can't get filled. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's click this, and we'll chase the order. Okay, filled. So that's it. So you can see this is a nice way to practice your trading and keep score in your simulated portfolio as well as uh, scroll back maybe to times where you knew there were particular uh, maybe a sell-off or reversal and just see what it looks like on the footprint or any other chart type within the software and then react to it in a simulated manner on the charts. Let's now take a look at how to determine whether you're in simulation mode, sometimes called sim, sim mode, or live. It all is tied to the destination or the account that you have selected on the trading order desk. If the trading order desk is not open, you can do so by just clicking the place trade button. That'll open it or under control order desk. Once it's open, under destination account you can see it'll list your accounts many will have just simulator listed just like this and probably one other account if you have multiple accounts multiple accounts will be listed but if I want to sim trade I select it here and then I can begin to either sim from here or from the chart so let's just buy one market you can see I'm long one and to confirm that, let me just open the portfolio. And the port, when I click this button, it's going to open up the portfolio for the account that's that's uh, chosen here. So when I click that, you can see it says portfolio simulated long one. So why don't I uh, let's sell one? And there I'm flat. So again, changing from simulated to live. Now I'm, I would be on a live account. 
this is then how I would send live orders in. So always pay attention to what you have selected here. This is extremely important. Thank you.